All right, y'all, let's talk about adjusting the sling, setting it up to fit you, and doing our, all of our quick adjust stuff. All right, so back here on the back, you've got your fit adjustment, you know, to kind of fit the size person you are, uh, whether or not you're wearing body armor or whatnot. If you're larger or you're wearing kit and whatnot, you want to make it like sewish, okay? Um, I'm a pretty swelled up kind of dude, um, but without body armor, probably right about there -ish pretty good place for me. Okay, what that allows you to do when you set that initial fit back here, that allows you, as you slide the front and do your quick adjust stuff, to get everything you need out of it. Um, with the sling, on the two-point adjustable slings, I like to think of having two modes. You've got a storage mode and a working mode, okay? So let's go ahead and put the sling on and talk about those modes. All right, so in a storage mode would be pulling the sling all the way tight, or your adjustment all the way tight, and there, the, the gun should sit nice and close to you. If you bend over, it should stay nice and tight to you. Should allow you to do a little bit of work and whatever. You still should be able to mount the rifle and shoot it from that storage mode. You don't want storage mode to be so tight that you can't present the gun, okay? Now, from an operational mode would be one grab and extension of the sling, um, or the slider on the sling there, your, your quick adjustment up here, should allow you to do a full range of motion of shooting, work the gun back into your workspace uh, to an area there where it doesn't bind up and you can see the inside of that mag wheel which you will need to see if you're working a reload and as you're doing that you need to have enough play in the sling or enough uh, slack in the sling so you can keep that muzzle at 12 o'clock and we would say that 12 o'clock is wherever your head goes okay that adds into some muzzle discipline if you're working in and around other folks as you need to manipulate your gun or reload it or what have you, okay? So getting back into that storage mode with your firing hand on the pistol grip, take the weight off of the sling, grab a hold of the slider, um, usually grab the sides, kind of hook your finger into the front there, that lets everything slide nice and easy, pull that thing back tight up underneath your armpit, good to go. To loosen it, just grab a hold of the sides of the slider buckle and push out. Dig? Okay, um, had some people, you know, here and there, Say, hey man, you should have put a pull tab on there. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, actually I did think about it. I tried it out. Um, now one of, or one of the main concepts design, or behind the design of this sling is a minimalist design. Okay, less bulk, less weight, everything you need to attach to the gun. Um, you know, it's got all the hardware it takes to attach to a rifle already installed on it. You can pull the thing up like sewish, and with one S roll, stow it up nice and neat on the side of the rifle. Now, if you added a pull tab here, you added something to get in the way, something else for you to grab a whole tub as you're doing a reload or whatever. Um, and also adding a nylon pull tab on there adds some friction and doesn't allow the sling to slide quite as easy. All right, folks, and that's why I don't have a pull tab on the sling. Thanks for watching this. We'll see y'all next time. Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope you were digging the video that you were just watching there. And if you'd like that and you'd like to know more, I recommend you go to my website, frankproctorshooting.com, and subscribe to FPTV. There, you're going to find hours of detailed information on training and gear to help you shoot fast, accurate, and easy. While you're on the website, check out my training schedule. Come out and train with me. Um, also, take a look at the products I offer. See if they'll help you shoot. Speaking of shooting, time for me to get back to training.